Hello everyone, in this episode, Jihoon follows Johan because he is worried about Anna. However, after Johan receives information from the Jong that Anna is starting to get better, Johan changes his goal. Instead of going to see Anna, he instructs Secretary Jong to track down the second hand shop. Johan believes that Saren, who is running out of money, will definitely sell her goods there, and he hopes to find out her whereabouts. Since Johan doesn't come to meet Anna, Jihoon decides to go to see her alone. He borrows Johan's car because his own car is being repaired. While getting into Johan's car, Jihoon still wants to believe that Jaguk is wrong and that Johan isn't the owner of W Investment. If Johan is indeed the owner, Jihoon wants to know why he wants to take over Dreamfoot. To satisfy his curiosity, Jihoon decides to check the black box in Johan's car. However, he realizes that there is no memory card in the black box. As a result, Jihoon finally decides to go to Siana and not investigate further about Johan. On the way to Bobecha, Jihoon gets into an accident because the brakes in Johan's car are damaged. This is the reason why Jihoon is in Johan's car and why he is the one who has the accident. During the operation, Jihoon never leaves the hospital as Jihoon's condition is critical. After the operation, the doctor reveals that it was a miracle that Jihoon survived, but he is not paralyzed. Even with treatment or therapy, Jihoon will never be able to return to normal again. He will be paralyzed for the rest of his life. According to the doctor, Jihoon's survival after the accident is a miracle to be grateful for. Jihoon starts feeling guilty because Jihoon had an accident while driving his car, even though he knows that Jihoon borrowed the car to Mitana because he missed her. However, Johan begins to suspect that the accident was planned by someone, specifically Jaeguk. Yet, Johan doesn't have enough evidence to accuse Jaeguk of being the mastermind behind the accident. Some time later, Johan regains consciousness but doesn't realize that he is paralyzed. He only becomes aware of his condition when he tries to get a drink of water but realizes that his legs don't function at all. He screams in disbelief upon realizing that he is paralyzed. Meanwhile, Hale invites Jaeguk to talk and blames him for Jihoon's suffering, stating that it's Jaeguk's greed that caused all this. Initially, Jaeguk denies it, but when Hale mentions that Jaeguk planned to kill Johan and Jihoon ended up having the accident, Jaeguk responds indirectly confirms his involvement as the mastermind. At the same time, Jihoon overhears Hale and Jaeguk's conversation. He doesn't want to believe that Jaeguk intended to kill Johan, but the truth is revealed. Jihoon feels that he is no longer has a father and goes to the hospital rooftop with the intention of committing suicide. Okay everyone, that's the storyline for this time and thank you for watching my video.